Hey guys, welcome back to Surveying with Robert. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at processing static data through uh, RTX, through Opus, and then through Terminal Business Center, and we're gonna look at all the numbers and see what we got. So hang on to your hats, we're in for a wild ride. So try to stay with me. This gets really interesting, so watch this. <laughs> Okay, so I've got some data from a friend of mine that um, was doing a project over in Oklahoma. He's in Oklahoma North. That's where we're going to be at. We're going to be using Geoid Model 12B. Uh, we're going to set the project up and we're going to roll. So let's see here. New project, US survey feet, say okay. I'm going to get rid of my grid. I don't have a template for Oklahoma, so we're going to have to do it this way. I'm going to go to change. I'm going to change to Oklahoma North. Finish. Okay. So here we go. So first thing I want to do is bring this data in. And the first thing it's going to ask me is, do I want to bring it in to RTX? What do I want to do with the data? That, that's the default. I'm logged in to Trimble Connect and everything else. So that's probably part of the reason why it just defaults to this for me. So uh, point number 100, we're going to bring it in. I'm going to say, okay. I'm going to bring it in to... Um, RTX, let me get rid of the last one. You can see here where it's coming in. For those of you that don't know, RTX is Trimble's version of Opus. We're gonna send this off to Trimble Opus and get our data back. And what it's gonna do is it's actually going to give me the option to import the file into TBC and do some stuff with it. This is where it gets interesting. You're gonna to have to hang with me because um, what you have to do here when you're bringing this data in is a little crazy. Okay, it's in, we're gonna import the data. It's asking me to merge. So there's two point number 100s, right? There's the point number 100, the raw data, and the point number 100, the process data. Do not merge these files. Um, there's an issue with bringing data into Terminal Business Center that I've found, and if you merge these files, you're gonna end up with the wrong point. Let's just import it without merging it. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my process view. I'm gonna go back to my plan view. Now you're gonna see I've got two points on the screen. I've got point number 100 and point number 100. The problem is, is the point number 100 with the triangle around it is a control point. When you see that triangle, that's a control point. Well, basically this other 100 with the circle is survey grade. The problem is, is when this data comes in, for some reason, this happens when you bring in uh, other static data, and we'll look at that in a minute as well, that it comes in as control. That's not what we want. So we're going to go up to points. You can see I've got 100 highlighted. Here's 100 right here. I'm gonna go to global. I'm gonna right click, go to properties, and I'm going to change this to unknown quality. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on 100 here. on 100 this is the one this is the good point so I'm gonna tell it control quality do a quick recompute now that's my good point and I can confirm that because I actually have a little cheat sheet over here that gives me the coordinates and I can tell you the last time I sent this off the coordinates are exactly the same the corrected ones what we're gonna do we're going to, so we don't have two points on the screen and we don't get converged. I, I guess you could delete one if you want to, but we can do a merge points. And if you notice, I hit merge points. I just drew a window around the two to select them. If I come over here to the right, if you look, when I open that up, it says final and included. I include this other point, but I want to hold my final point is my control point. I'll say okay. Now you're going to notice there that it merged both those points. Now then if I go look, I can see that this is the correct point all the way down to the elevation. Everything's exactly the same as it was. This is our good point uh, right here. So now what we want to do is I've actually already sent this off to Opus. 
let's go into GNSS Processor. So GNSS Processor, the website is gnss-processor.trimbleaccess.com. This is a new one. They're going to quit using Trimble Access Services and they're going to this one. So let me show you what we do here. I grab my 202 file from my other screen, I bring it over and literally just drop and drag it in here. So here it comes. Select a processor. If I say Opus, email address. Okay, here's where I have a little bit of problem with this. I don't see any place in here where I can do an extended format so I can change it from metric to um, survey feet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the submit button. And what it's going to do is it's going to send this file back off to Opus, which this is kind of like cooking show. I've already done it. I've already got the results. What we're going to do is I'm going to bring this data sheet up here. I think I will. Here it is. Here's the data sheet. And this is what we've got. Here's our coordinates. If we go to the calculator and we say 109.636.904 times 3.28033333333. We get a number of, I'll bring over my cheat sheet over here so you can see Opus right here. There's my opus, uh, 359700.438 is what I processed last time. Now what we want to do is I want to do the easting, which is 797051.007. I'm as bad as you guys about trying to make sure everything fits to that exact hundredth, right? Times 3.2808333333. I can't express the importance of the threes. I've had some customers that didn't put all those threes in there and then call me up and tell me that things aren't working. We've got a 261991, 261491.54. So I'm a few hundreds off on that one as well. Let's check out the elevation. So the elevation, what we're going to look at is the orthometric height, which is 181.348 times 33333. 594.97. It's changed a little bit. This I sent this in probably a week or two ago. My number's a little bit different. But you get the idea, right? Okay, so that's that's what we've got from sending it to Opus using uh, Trimble's format. We're still in the same ballpark. You can see here's my RTX, which is still the same as when I processed it before. And this is my, um, my Opus. So as you can see, both those fit pretty good. Okay, wanted to show you guys those. Okay, then let's go back to Terminal Business Center and look. Now then we've got those two points in here. Let's say that I want to just process this uh, U.S. Survey Foot. Okay, I probably should set a project up and make my life a whole lot easier. Um, home. Get rid of that. We're going to go up to here. We're going to change this to Oklahoma North. We're going to say finish. We're going to say okay. Now then, let's bring in this and process it with Trimble Business Center and see what we got. First of all, we do not want to send it to RTX our point same problem as before notice the triangle the way it's coming in so what we need to do is i need to go up here to points 100 global right click properties come over here i need to change this to unknown quality close that do my recomputes give me a little red ball down there so now what we want to do is we want to go into survey internet download so we're going to click on this little button up here. I am going to say new site and say OK. So here's the core stations that it's given me. So let's just do Tulsa, for example. Any of these we want. And I could say 
Control, 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 control. Whatever, however many of these I want, I can do. I've already got it over there. So I'm just gonna cancel that. So we would have brought all that in. Um, I'm tempted to delete this and you guys get the idea. You can follow along. Okay, so let's get out of here. So I'm gonna say oh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm gonna say automatic time span, okay. As you can see, it's downloading the core stations, doing everything. Uh, your files are ready to import, import. No, I do not want to send it to RTX, hit okay. There's my baseline right there. So as you can see, known, unknown. There's my baseline. So now if I go into process baseline, I've got a horizontal position, vertical position. There's my RMSs, it's fixed. I'm gonna say save. So now if I look at my point duration report, there it is. Let's bring this over. Let's see if I can do this so that you guys can see it. So, Northing 359-700.438. That was, this was my old Opus. This is processing with Trimble Business Center. If you remember, my numbers were a hair bit different. 261-4991.498. So, five zero five five hundreds. Um, my elevation is a 594.867. It's 828. Okay, so... It was literally that easy, um, literally that easy to process that through Trimble Business Center. Now, I could go in if I wanted to process it from multiple points, I could click any one of them I want. Like I said, just go to internet download, say new site. What it's gonna do, it's gonna look for the, it's gonna start with the reference stations that's closest to your point, and it's gonna reach out to, um, to ones that are further away. So as you can see, here's the miles. That one I processed was only eight miles away. So that was pretty good. So um, that is how we're gonna process it. That's how it works. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can hit me up. I just fired up a Facebook page, Surveying with Robert. I've got my YouTube page, Surveying with Robert, and I have an Instagram, Surveying with Robert. So if you guys cannot find me, it's because you're not looking, okay? So RTX. Uh, we did Opus, and we did um, the uh, processing in Business Center. Okay, if you guys need me to get a little bit more in depth with this stuff, I can. One of the next things we're going to do is we're going to process, and then we're going to move a bunch of points. I'm going to show you how to do some offsets with your GPS. Problems with doing offsets with GPS, if you're not careful, it locks it down as a coordinate. So when we merge points, do things in Terminal Business Center, those points don't come with us. I'm going to show you guys how to solve all those problems in the next couple of videos. So... Hang tight, keep up, hit rewind if you have to. Uh, that's how you process static data. Um, as you can see, I just all three of them in less than like 15 minutes. So anyways, um, you guys be careful out there. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, that's the only way I know what you guys wanna see. And if you subscribe, I, it's hard for me to get this stuff loaded. I, I have a full-time job, but I'm trying to get this stuff on here to help you guys. So. Uh, hit me up if you need to. You guys be careful. Like and subscribe. Uh, you guys be safe.